Here we have the uh, quahog shell that many people make jewelry and different items out of them. And a lot of problems a lot of people have is trying to cut a shape out of there. Let me see here. Try to cut that circle out of there without shattering the center piece. And this is the most beautiful part of the shell, I think. But you can come up with all sorts of things with them. The object of it is is to get it to turn into these. This is a piece we want to cut out without chipping, shattering. Uh, you're going to get some little tiny chipping, but nothing major. And I'll show you an easy way to do this. Or I think it's easy. But it'll save you some time and a lot of aggravation. And most important, put on a dust mask. Maybe some eye protective wear of some sort. And here we go. And here I'm going to show some of you how to cut this shell out of here. Out of a shell. A lot of times everyone has problems with chipping and cracking. And I'll show you a little, little easier way of getting that piece out of there. A little patience of time. It's not that bad. You can make some really nice jewelry out of these quahog shells. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut out this shell, the quahog wampum shell. And you don't want to stay in one spot too long because it will chip. The shell will heat up. Just make a straight line. And we go. Make a few good passes where you get a little line in it. But don't stay in one spot too long. And take you a pair of side, side cutters. These here I found out worth the best. So just cut across that straight line. There you go. Trim it up. Now we're going to go all the way up here. Notice there's a circle right there. I'm not going to make the circle. Make a straight line. Could turn up a little faster, but I guess it's too hot. Now we're going to try to pop this and get a straight line. Hopefully. You ready? There's your line. Now we've got a circular part right in here. That's a nice straight line. And that didn't quite go straight across, so we're going to take the other corner, shape it. Be careful on the touch up, because that'll get you sometimes. But if you grind it, you can chip it. There's a little trick to that as well. And here we're going to try to get this corner out without busting out any of this middle part. I'm going to go right across here again, straight line.
should be deep enough. If it ain't, we'll find out. Yeah, that'll work. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and do a little grinding on it. Here we're going to grind this and try to shape it. And again, you don't want to keep it in one spot too long or it will chip on you. Just for a few seconds and then get off that spot. Go around your shell. that part around and put the shell around to the back side. Again, keep that shell moving. Don't stop. If you do, it will chip all over the place. Some people like to wet it. Chip fly there, stayed in that spot just a few seconds too long. Take the back again. Spot real quick. So we'll shift. After about two or three seconds, you're done. It'll screw that shell all up. And you gotta start all over. Just take your time. make a really nice necklace when you get all through. It's pretty good right there. And we'll go from here. Now we'll take our Dremel tool once again. I like the pistol grip. This one seems to be the best one, I think. Cordless, you ain't got no cord to worry about. So what you want to do is you get like this white catalyst built up that gets in these shells. Here's a good example here of it. And that stuff can be really tough to get out of there. So what I like to do is just take your Dremel and go back and forth in opposite directions. You're going to go one way. Here you can go a little bit faster in Dremel, speed it up a little bit. Get that white catalyst out. And just keep it moving. See it coming out of there. Taking pretty much most all that out. Tumbler, your rock tumbler is going to get all the rest out of there. 
And then I like slow it down a little bit. And then round off the back edges a little bit. Pick some of the small nicks you may have gotten. Pick them out. faster than that. There we go. Completely just round that off. And in the end you'll have a purple purple edge on it and then it goes right into the light. And then take the front part of your shell and round this hair off. Take that sharp edge off of there. This look really nice in the end. At least that's what you hope for. that one there. Here's a few other ones that I went ahead and done. And say it didn't really take that long. And we'll have some nice jewelry coming up.